Brokenness, like all um, ancient, true truths, it's paradoxical. Um, there's brokenness that is detrimental, that doesn't, um, that impedes deep flourishing, which I call throughout the book, bad brokenness. And then there's good brokenness, the brokenness of humility, of vulnerability, of being broken and given generosity. So I think, um, I think I came to realize that good brokenness, the brokenness of humility, of vulnerability, of generosity, being broken and given, breaks bad brokenness <laughs> in the world. Mm. So how can we, when I've looked at places in the world where there was um, brokenness that was um, impeding flourishing, brokenness that was detrimental, how can my good brokenness step into that place and break the bad brokenness? Um, my first memory, um, is the memory of my younger sister being killed in front of my mother and I in our home farmyard. And um, my mother was hospitalized in psych wards throughout my teenage years. I cut myself all through my teenage years. The book opens with that. Um, and that even as I, as I hit 40, trying to process feelings of failure, how do I deal with parts of my life that were still broken. And um, so stepping into, we each have, the front cover of the book has a bucket. <laughs> we each have a <laughs> container that's the whole of our life. We just don't know how big that container actually is, how many days we actually have. Um, our daughter Shalom had wanted to know, how long do we get to live, Mama? Mm. And I had said, oh, well, if the Lord gives you 70 years, that works out to about 25,550 <laughs> kernels of wheat, so many days, which was four <laughs> cups of, of wheat. And I put it in a, in a mason jar on a counter right by the sink there. And I wanted us to see, these are the days that you have to live on earth. How do you live with a broken heart? How do you live with pain and suffering in the world? How do you live an abundant life in the midst of that? And realizing that again, it's paradoxical. Those kernels of wheat, if they are broken like seed in the earth, <laughs> in broken ground, if the sky breaks over top of them and rains, they will yield a great abundance. <laughs>